Well, we're nearing the uh, end of a terrific day here in Gravesham, where Kent Connects has been uh, running an event on using technology for community benefit in neighbourhoods. And it's great to meet uh, Roger Goff, who's the politician responsible for this uh, field. Um, ideas are fine, technology produces lots of buzz, but Roger, what's the reality of moving these ideas forward through um, a big organisation? I think the reality is often two steps forward, one back. You know, we have to find the right uh, sort of instruments by which to do this. Within a large organisation, there will sometimes perhaps be a bit of nervousness too about uh, uh, what is ultimately a matter of letting loose bottom-up energy. We all talk about that. Uh, perhaps sometimes we get a little bit nervous of letting go in terms of control, but uh, that's a reality. But I think you know, Kent County Council and the partners in Kent Connects have been genuinely committed to this for quite some time. Having a day like today is terrifically exciting in terms of seeing the amount of energy among the developers, and I think that will be reflected in the energy amongst the communities we represent as well. Um, you've got responsibility for technology, so I guess you get your head around this, but how do you help your colleagues understand what it's all about when you start talking about open data? Do they get it? Um, I think there'll be a variety of views, but I think what, what I think people do understand is that generally, not just in relation to technology, there is a stronger desire, we have to, you know, the big society and the rest of it, to make use of people's energy out in the community, so not just the official structures of the council or other public sector bodies, but what people in the community themselves want to contribute. That's what I think some of the very interesting presentations today were about. I think if it's conveyed in those terms to, uh, uh, to councillors, then I think they do, they do get it. So uh, I think people understand transparency, yes, tell us what you're doing, what are you spending the money on, and so on and so forth. But to, today it's a little bit more nuanced. It's about the value that lies in that data and how to make the connection between the data, um, the developers, and the needs in the community so that it benefits uh, local people without you spending as much money as you might do otherwise. Well, that's exactly right, and to some extent it is a matter of making use, as I say, use is the wrong word, uh, helping to harness and develop some of the energy that there is out there. We don't have all the answers in County Hall. Uh, we do have you know, quite a lot of information, and therefore if we can put that out there, and then what will be done with that out in the community will be something that we don't control. Uh, but there will be, I think, in many cases, significant social benefit from that happening. I mean, that issue of control is, is uh, difficult, isn't, isn't it? Because I guess that all organisations have a fairly embedded set of protocols and way of doing things which keeps control on stuff and then suddenly you're letting this out of the door you're letting other people play with it you're letting other people create value does that raise a few hackles um i think it i think it always will but uh, i think on the other hand we have got used in many areas to the idea that uh, as i said not all wisdom is with us in maidstone and uh, the general thrust of policy across a range of areas is towards a greater localism, greater decentralisation, uh, trying to engage with our citizens in a different way from the way we have in the past. So in that sense, uh, it goes with the grain. Are there moments of nervousness? Yes, of course there are. Any particular areas where you're seeing value? Um, I think it's a, it's a little early to say at the moment. I think what we will be looking for is actually what comes out of sessions like today, because uh, this is the opportunity, I think, to, uh, as I say, just get a little bit more from the community a little bit less of us just trying to initiate things um, and very often as I say not really being uh, the best people to do that. Seems to me that Kent's pretty much in the lead in this field. Do you think there's an opportunity um, to share ideas with other local authorities? I'm sure you do that to a certain extent at the moment. I'm doing some work with big lottery fund, other ways in which you can interest those agencies in this work. Yes there are and equally to be honest we, we, we're not proud we will learn from what others have done as well so you know we looked at London data store and a variety of things like that so it's not as if to believe we have a monopoly of wisdom in this area either but of course this is something where we are always as a council proud to believe that we try and provide a leading role within the local government sector try and uh, be ahead of the game we're not inevitably ahead of the game on everything all the time but yes I we agree with you we do think actually that we are uh, making quite a distinctive contribution in this area and if that can get spread across other parts of the country so much the better.